since since the new players have come in have you, have you noticed a change of style has there been a change of, of, of the way you try and get the ball to the front men do you think since since Paul and, and Byron came in and the, the midfield has changed slightly as well um, not really as such as, as from my point of view um, we've been trying to work on getting wide and getting more crosses into the box um, but in regards to how we play I think we can play it up to Benno knowing it's going to stick and I can I play off him. Obviously Byron as well is the same type of type of player in regards to, to stature and, and build so you know, I, th I think we haven't changed too much in regards to how we play. Um, ideally we like to get it down and play but it's not always the case in League 2 football. Yeah, we were you pleased with what, what you did when you went on against Oldershot because it was poor first half but yeah. the manager said all three subs that went on you made a positive impression. Yeah, I was, um, I was quite quite pleased with how, how it affected the game and, and the other subs too. Um, I was unlucky not to to bag one on the far post. Um, but you know, we was, we was disappointed that we didn't nick three points, and we've got to rectify that Saturday. And hopefully, I'll be starting from the start this time. Yeah, you started two games, scored twice, then Dagenham happens, and you know, it's not for the first time a bad team performance, and you yeah. you got sort of you got left out because of it so <laughs> obviously you never want to be left out but now do you feel like you've done you know put a good case forward to come back in at uh, old yeah it's obviously we was very poor against Dagenham and I'm not going to deny that and just want a good run of games and I was, I was unfortunate enough to, to miss out the game after and um, you know I've, I think I showed enough on Saturday that I'm, I'm raring to go again and to kick on in these 13 games which is very important for the club yeah, the, the two game, games you did start up front with Paul Benson before Dagenham, you just, t took the goals well, didn't you? Start a yeah. start of goal straight in the back of the net and you just yeah. must want more chances to do that. Definitely, that's that's my game. Obviously, the majority of my goals have come in in the box and that's when I come alive and I think we played really well together the first two games and then Dagenham, I can't remember one player coming out of any, any positives really apart from Brownie. Yeah. So... Um, it would be nice to link up with him, but that's that's obviously the gaffer's decision for Saturday, what he sees fit. Yeah, there's one other question that I forgot to ask. Is it, do, does Jason Taylor do yoga? And, or do, do, you, do you do yoga? Do any of the squad members do yoga? Yeah, I've, do you know what? I've, I've started about a month ago, I've started to do, do my yoga. And if it's good enough for Ryan Giggs, you know, I'm sure I can I can fit fit it in in training. But as in details, I don't, I don't know if he does that or not. I'll have to ask him. Yeah, because it's it's one of those things that it's supposed to keep, you know, prolong your career. I suppose starting it early might help you know to well, stop you get picking up niggles and stuff. Later on. We're not getting any younger, so um, obviously I'm 28 now. And I've got, you know, I, I look after myself anyway. But I've heard I've heard a lot of players it, it benefits, and if I can add that to to my training, then I'm only going to benefit long term. Yeah.